Across the nation, schools are struggling to retain and hire teachers. Over at Black Hill State University, officials are looking to alleviate the issue with their annual teacher fair. Cody Dennis has more on the fair and some incentives schools are offering to get people to apply. Every year, Black Hill State University hosts a teacher fair to assist their education majors in finding a job after they graduate. With a teacher shortage affecting not only the Black Hills, but the entire country, many of the schools at the event came with incentives to apply. So for us, we are out here promoting our school district, and one thing that has really hit in rural areas, which is really kind of hard to recruit, is the lack of housing in, in, in these rural school districts. And now we are coming back to the table with our school district and having housing now. We provide housing for our staff um, because of uh, the location. Uh, housing is limited in Eagle Butte, and so we do provide the housing. Yeah, we're, we're trying to be competitive with our pay, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then um, we have some teacher housing that we're trying to use as availability for people to come into our community and have that available to them. While most of the districts we spoke with are using housing as an incentive to get applicants, Rapid City Area Schools has a unique approach to the problem, offering paid student teacher positions. Typically you pay to do your student teaching, so it's nice to kind of flip that and be able to make some money because you are doing all of that work and you kind of get a jump start on your career, so it's a great place to do that. It can be easy to consider only Western South Dakota when considering events like this, but schools from all over were included at the event. Now it's kind of the opportunity to see what opportunities really exist and not not just in the Black Hills, but beyond. So we have it from East River. We have a representative from Michigan. We have one from uh, California, Nevada, and even Alaska. Kim says this is beneficial because many of the students at BHSU came from out of state, and many may be looking for jobs closer to home. Reporting for Coda Territory News, I'm Cody Dennis.